Travelers, this week we're talking about an animal that's known for its black spots all over its body. I think I know this animal. I've seen it before in the jungle, where I come from. This week we're talking about the leopard. Uh, Jungle Boy Trap, you didn't read the full name. They're, they're definitely not found in the jungle. Uh, uh, are you sure? Let me check the script. Oh, the leopard. Oh. Oh. Oh! We're back here in the Middle East, and although this week's animal has the name leopard in it, it's actually not even a mammal. This week we're talking about a reptile, a reptile named the leopard gecko. Leopard geckos are smaller animals, only reaching about 10 inches long. Even though they're tiny, doesn't mean they don't have a big appetite. Leopard geckos love to eat crickets, spiders, and even scorpions. <coughs> Hey there, travelers! Have you ever gotten heartburn from a scorpion? If so, do I have the product for you! Actually, that's not necessary. Because although scorpions are venomous, it doesn't affect the leopard gecko. Like other geckos, the leopard gecko has a tail that can be removed and regenerated. If a predator grabs hold of the tail, it'll break off at a vertebrae, and the muscles will close in on the artery to stop the bleeding. And although I'm sure it's not fun to lose a tail, it's much better than getting snatched up by a predator. Leopard geckos have some unique traits that differentiate them from other geckos and other lizards. For instance, they have an eyelid that most other geckos don't have. Leopard geckos also have the best eyesight out of any other studied gecko. Their eyesight is said to be similar to a cat's. Norman, can you, can you see anything? Do you see any leopard geckos? Another really unique trait about the leopard gecko is that they have a very gentle disposition. It takes a lot to get them upset. <laughs> I'm not that? touching you. What? I'm not touching you. you. I'm not touching you. Can you just stop I'm that? I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. <laughs> can you stop that? <laughs> a leopard gecko is unique because its gender can be determined by the temperature at incubation. So if it's born in 90 degrees or up, it's most likely going to be a male. 80 degrees and below, most likely going to be a female. Anywhere in between, kind of a toss-up. My mom said it was really hot when I was born, like 105 degrees or whatever. You know what, Mom? If you would have just got a fan, you could have had a girl! The ICN currently lists the leopard gecko as least concerned, which is great. They do really well in captivity, living about 20 to 25 years. If you decide to care for a leopard gecko, it's important to remember that they're going to stick around. Proper care and maintenance is a must to ensure that they have a nice, healthy life while they're with you. Thanks for checking us out this week, travelers. This week's honorary travelers are Traveler Nevea and Traveler Ashton, who rode into travelers at travstravels.org and requested the leopard gecko. Thanks, Nevea and Ashton. And if you're as cool as them, tell us what animal or conservation effort you want to learn more about. If you want to learn more about a leopard gecko's pee, check out travstravels.org or visit our Facebook and Twitter page. It pees nitrogen crystals. Is that yeah, not really Keep on traveling. Uh, 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 Did you hear that? <laughs>